Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and always the big angry American. Not so big anymore. No, you're looking good, bro. Down like 40 good. pounds. Man. Nice. So, all right. Through the tens of thousands of people that watch us on YouTube, follow yeah. us on Facebook and Instagram, I think one question gets answered, asked Ooh, more boy. than any question. Yeah. And that is, how can I put together a small, inexpensive bag that's able to help me, you know, in a short get short, home yeah. situation? I work 10 miles from home. Right. What I do work. I got to do? So, yeah. so here's what we did. Nikki and Chris and I went on Amazon, used the old uh, fingers. That's it. And, uh, and we put together a pack. And this is it. It's small. Um, it's a, something that you could put in your office, under your desk, in your desk, in a drawer, uh, under the seat of your car. I was just say, in your daughter's son's car, your wife's car, mom's car. And, you know. and it's just a small little pack. The pack comes from Roaring Fire Tactical. Um, and like I said, every item that's going to in here, you can get on Amazon with the link in the description. So you can put this kit together. And when we put this kit together, it was $99. Yes. So everything you're going to see here um, is under 100 bucks. So together. So uh, and it, it's a battle too. It's a trade off. Yeah, that we had to make a lot of choices and decisions, you know, going through this thing. You know, this is not the comprehensive bug out bag, right. you know, inch bag. I'm never coming home. This is designed to help get you from wherever you may be to home. And yeah. that's not a terrible distance, but that has the potential of you being called out overnight. Yeah. You know, maybe. And, so. And there's only one category that's kind of missing in here, and that's food. We didn't put food in here just because people are so specific, you know, uh, allergies or, you know, yeah. just tastes and likes and things like that. So there's no food in here. So that'd be the only thing that you have to put in here. And most of that should just kind of come straight out of your pantry yeah, uh, or, you know, or some simple some, stuff. Yeah, cliff bars, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Stuff that you can eat on the move, don't need cooking would be your best option here. So, so. so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the bag. First of all, it's a nice, it's a small shoulder strap bag. Uh, this this shoulder strap does come off and it's got a nice Velcro area in the back. I kind of like this. Um, this little Velcro area right here holds the whole strap so you can keep it nice and tight uh, when you want to put it like under your seat or yep. something. The it's not strap isn't getting caught everywhere. Yep, yep. And uh, nice stitching, you know, and it, it's a bag that it does its purpose. It'll hold a good amount of weight. It's got some extra molly if you wanted to add some water pockets or water bottle pockets or something like that. Uh, bigger, you know, multi-tool pack, anything yeah. like that. You can add it to the outside. Um, but, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the items, kind of talk about the different categories that we covered. Um, and, you know, this is a bag that you guys have really asked for. So, so here we go. I'm going to let Chris open it up. I'll go through the specs of yeah. everything. We're going to start back here with the, the biggest item, really. This is the biggest footprinted piece here. Yeah. And that's your shelter sheet. Yeah, so this is a yeah. UST survival blanket tarp. Yeah. Uh, so it's got grommets in the corners. It's got the mylar uh, on the back. On the other side, it's orange, so it could be used for signaling as well. Yep. Uh, keep you warm. Uh, it's big enough that you know Chris and I could get under it yep. and, and make a shelter. Um, and it's one of those things where, once again, we, we took trade-offs here and there. We could have easily gone with a really cheap mylar, you know, thin just mylar space blanket, blanket, just a space which blanket, which would be destroyed the first time you used it. Yeah, it it probably rip tear. It's hard to. It, it can be done, but it's hard to make into a shelter. Yeah. You can put rocks in the corners and yeah. tie them, and, but any wind, it'll usually rip. Uh, and, and what we wanted was a bag that was robust enough to last a night or two yeah. if need be and get you home. So it has items that are able to be used more than one time in there. Correct. So starting with the UST Survival Blanket yep. Tarp 2.0. And then just, this is one of my favorite pieces of kit. Led by, I used to get laughed at a lot for this until people started kind of realizing it. I mean, not only can you mop your forehead and whatever this, you can use it to collect food if you're yep. out wandering around. Uh, you can use it to tie an impromptu bandage if you yep. need to. You can tie this thing around your leg and walk through tall, wet grass in the morning. Yep. Collect water. Collect water. So, you know, bandana has a zillion uses. Pre-filter. Pre-filter, you know, yeah. Water, yep. uh, you know, uh, use it even to, to, to wipe out stuff, clean things up, like your your kit, your mess kit here we're going to show in just a second. You know, use it as a washcloth even. And you if know. you're my grandfather, you blow your nose in it. Yeah, and put it in your pocket. Yes. I never understood it's why people want to keep that. Thing yeah. It's the grossest thing ever. It's the grossest thing ever. And then to go with our shelter sheet, of course, we've got Ten some... Ten feet. Ten, huh? Ten feet of paracord. That's all that is? Yeah. Looks like a lot more than ten feet. But ten feet of 550. So, so yeah, so I mean, with, with these two options, you can get an A-frame, you can get yeah. pretty much anything built. Yeah, you can shelter uh, up. So we got shelter covered here and a bandana. Next item. So next item is our little cook set. Yep. Um, this is the Stanley two-cup cook set. But in this 
configuration, we're using it as a one cup cook set. Uh, and if it was me, I would even ditch probably the other cup. Oh. But this thing opens up, handle snaps over, which is kind of nice. Keeps all the contents inside. And that, come on. What's it be misbehaving for now? Come on, there it goes. Um, the handle on the side, so you know, over the fire, you can kind of get this thing all that yep. burn yourself. It does come with a lid, which is nice. Yeah. But we we took out one of the plastic cups that are in here. I'll show you, and threw our life straw and I'm um, and uh, I mean Sawyer our, our, our Sawyer mini and our Sawyer squeeze bag in there. So it also has um, just a plastic cup in here as well. Yeah. So this is kind of nice if you're boiling water. You can dump some off. You can have a drink. Um, you know, whatever. But this is your water system. Yeah. This is how you can get water. So you can filter water here. We also have the straw yep. for the squeeze in this front pouch. Um, so here's this too as well to, to get down there and get water. Um, but you know, you can fill this thing up, squeeze it in here yeah. if you need to. You can boil water in here. So now we have two methods yeah. of Redundancy water. just in case something were to happen to the filter if it were to break because of cold weather or yep. anything like that. Get, just get plugged even. Yeah. Uh, still have a way to boil water. I mean, if you had to, and you know, this is really made to be a short term, but I mean, Very you, could, short term. you could make char cloth in this if you needed oh, to. Oh, if you needed to, you yeah. Know. Um, well, and you can use your squeeze bag to carry water too because yes. you find a water source, you can fill this thing up, you can put your filter on it and as you're walking, you yep. know, you can squeeze, squeeze it to filter in. water. So this is also a method to carry water. Yeah. So, you know, we got a cook set here. We can boil water, yeah. do all kinds of stuff with it. A nice little yep. stainless steel cup and then a Sawyer Mini. And then we go into fire. So we have what? What is it? A five pack. Five it comes pack. with, we put three of them in there. Yeah, there's three of these little mini Bics. So we got three little mini Bic lighters in here. Why three? Well, two is one, one is none, and three is for me. So yep. um, these things will start hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fires along with some tender quick tabs. Yep. Um, so now we have fire covered. That'll let us boil water, cook food, as well as signal. And to there's nothing like that fire as a companion. Yeah. When you're it's outside. It's a morale boost. When you're outside at night, you know, um, it was kind of funny. The, the class we just did, we're sitting around there at night, and we got a fire going, and it's kind of quiet. And I'm just looking at the fire, and I'm like, oh, I love this show. And one of the guys went, what? I'm like, Bush TV, man, I love this show right here. This is a good one. And they just started laughing. You know, people don't think of it. Yeah. But, when you're out there, that's what you got. Deal. Yeah. And you can also help. I mean, if you were to get wet, dry clothes, you know, oh, yeah. keep away from hypothermia, yep. you can match it up with the tarp, you know, and get it around and, and yeah, be able put to this, warm yourself mount up. Mount this thing, it'll, it'll, it'll lean to behind yep. you, build your fire in front of it. Now you have a reflective wall heating both sides of you. So th this gives you a lot of options. And again, like you said, this is a very basic kit, guys. This yeah. isn't designed to run away from home in. Yeah. It's designed to have in your car and to be able to have some options should something happen. Um, and then, we threw a compass in there. Now, this is a skill a lot of folks are lacking. Everybody yeah. should learn how to use a compass and exactly what it's for. Um, it sounds real easy, needle points north, but learning to navigate use a lot, utilizing one of these and, yeah. and what all they can do for you. But if and you, what declination means. What declination, and what is declination? <laughs> what is the declination this year? Yeah. So some things to look into, but you're, there's a compass here. You can do a little studying on it, but it at least gets you headed home. If you're somewhere and you're like, well, hell, I know I'm, I live on the east side of town and I'm not sure which way east is. You can whip this thing out and be like, oh, okay, east is that way. So it's pretty easy to sort that out. And then as far as tools go, we've thrown in a little inexpensive, yep. but capable. A capable multi-tool. Multi-tool. Gives you, know? you a blade, it gives you pliers, yep. some Phillips heads, a little saw, a file. Yeah. Can um, opener, there's can all opener. kinds of stuff in here, but it gives you a blade, which, yeah. is, which is the thing. You know, you've got a so, knife in here, right. it's right here. Yeah. So I would, uh, I would sharpen it up, but, you know, and I know a lot of people are going to look at that and be like, oh, I'd never get anything. But, you know what? We went and spent a weekend in the woods with absolutely nothing. Yeah. I would have. We would have died for I would have done a yeah. lot just to have this yeah. thing right here with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after 48 hours of saying, can where's, you me the good rock? Yeah, <laughs> that or where's the good rock? Well, the good rock broke. Oh, damn. We got to go make another good rock, you know? So, yeah, it's just multi-tool, but that gives you a blade. And, and listen, this could also be... Um, your EDC should be a companion to this kit as well, but this is if you had yeah. nothing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, on the food end of things, we did throw in a little... Um, fishing kit. Fishing kit. So and and, and multi-purpose too. Yeah, this has other items in it as well. So you've got line in here if you had to sew something yeah. up, clothing-wise or whatnot. Um, you know, and almost all of us live near a body of water or you're gonna pass a body of water. And if you had to spend the night out overnight, you know, if you can just put up your hooch near a body of water, well, hell, now why not fish? Yeah. You can catch something, you know. Um, but it's just a way to augment that with some food. So, 
And then last but not least. So last but not least, we've just got a little boo-boo kit in here. Yep. This, this isn't a trauma kit. This isn't a blowout kit. This isn't chest seals and tourniquets. Um, this is just a boo-boo kit. Yep. You know, you're going to get cut, scrapes, maybe blisters, something to that effect. This will let you take care of that. You know. And, and, you know, and it's one of those things where infections can come, you know, cut your arm or something on some rusty bob wire or something. You know, an infection could really feel the effects of it within 48 hours. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. You know, 24, 48 hours. So if it was just a three-day hike home, um, you know, I've seen fingers on the trail and stuff, like sausage fingers just from a little cut a little that infection. got infected. Um, things like that within 24 hours. So, you know, anything that happened to your legs, feet could really slow you down. You're, so well, your feet in particular, you know, we, we take this for granted. 90% of us don't walk very far every day. We yeah. walk out to the garage, jump in the car, drive to work, walk out from the car to the office, do whatever. Um, and that footwear that you're probably wearing to work isn't going to be designed for a trek home. Yeah. So you very well could end up with some hot spots and blisters and stuff and just having something like this to help mitigate some of that yep. is a good good yeah. idea so so that's the contents it all fits in the bag there's still a little bit of room in there like i said so you guys could put some lifeboat rations or cliff bars yeah. or something like that mm -hmm. in there yeah the um, only the only other thing i would i would like to see in here which we you know like i said we had to make trade-offs yeah flashlight yeah but that should be part of your edc you should have one of those anyway yep. and you just add it to this and go but i mean you know here we've got food water shelter covered uh and fire yeah, the, navigation. Mean, navigation, we're, you know, medical even a little, to a yep. small degree. So you're pretty well covered with this. Again, for a short term, mm -hmm. especially if you're like urban or something, you know, this thing here, you don't necessarily have to pitch as a shelter. Right. Um, lay this thing on the ground, lay down on top of it, pull it over you, go to yep. sleep, get up in the morning, fold it up, get back on the, get back to moving again, you know. Um, but it just gives you some options, so. So yeah, so if you guys are interested in you know putting this identical kit together, uh, click the link above, everything will be in there. And like I said, as we're filming this, it was 99 bucks. It could go up or down, you know, a dollar or two. It could go cheaper even. Yeah. Um, you, you know, that's that's how Amazon works. So, um, but all these items will be in one location. So you can you can make this bag a clone, you know, within seconds. And like I said, there's still extra pockets. It's a great little bag from Roaring Fire Tactical. Um, and you know, they contacted us and were like, hey, would you be interested in just checking out a yeah. bag? And I wanted their small one uh, mm. because it, we usually start with a bag that's too big. And that's that's the biggest thing. And then and if, then what do we do once we have a bag that's too big? We, we fill it. We try to fill it. You know, and, so. and if we're talking, you know, 20, maybe 30 miles even to go home, uh, you don't need a 60 pound ruck. No. You know, it might be one or two nights out. Make sure you have a little bit of food. Make sure you can get water um, and you should be good. So, should be good to go. you know, um, and, and this doesn't take into account things like clothing and things like that, you know, which is your first line of shelter. Um, you should have that in your car or be wearing or it be wearing based it, on yeah. what the season is. So, uh, so. Oh, there's even another zipper pocket. Yeah. We didn't utilize that. So there's another pocket we didn't even mess with. But, you know, a, a, another really good purpose for this bag would be those people who you're trying to convince they need to get a little bit ready. Yeah. You make some of these up, start passing them out as Christmas gifts, birthday presents, that sort of thing, and people get the stuff and they start looking at it, then they start thinking, yeah. you know. And then, then they're gonna come back and start critiquing you about, well, why didn't you put this in my bag? Well, that now you're thinking, you go out and get your bag squared the way you want it. And, and it's the same with, you know, like Chris said, if you have a family member that's kind of just, eh, maybe a wife, you know, or, or a husband that just, eh, if you give them a big, huge ruck, yeah. They just look at you like they're crazy. They only got to go 10 miles. Like yep. they even look at you like you're crazy. Yeah. But something like this, man, you can just throw in the trunk of a car. It'll fit in even some glove boxes of trucks. You, you know, know? And, and this thing may be short of the lighters, which you could probably even get away with. Yeah. Um, a kid could put in their locker at school. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's no blade. Well, other than this, this yeah, the multi -tool. The, the multi tool could be an issue. Maybe strike that if you're if you've got uh, school age kids. But if they're in university, even this probably wouldn't be a problem. And this is small enough, light enough that <coughs> I mean, a seven, eight year old could oh could carry this all day long. Carry this, yeah, you know, yep. no, no problem at all. So, Absolutely. so yeah. So if you guys are interested in buying this, like I said, click the link above. It'll all be there for you. Uh, we hope this kind of answers your guys's requests that we've had a ton of. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments with regards to this kit, feel free to leave them below. We'll be around the next couple of days to answer them. And until next time, be safe.